What a gun, what a gun to all my nice and decent people out there, and all my ladies and gentlemen, all my viewers and subscribers. Yes, I want to go ahead and talk about the topics and the big news that's going on right now. That and more coming up. Uh, first, I was going to go ahead and talk about the girl who was barred from school to go to Kensington Primary School in Kingston. And she will be able to go back to school in September. But uh, before I do, I want to go ahead and play a little audio clip. An exchange between the mother of the little girl, Miss Virgos, and uh, the principal of Kensington Primary School. And you, you make your own uh, judgment. Um, when you hear, cause to me when I when I heard it, it was it was very disturbing, and I don't know if I would have sent my kid to school after having an exchange like this. As a matter of fact, even just having to go to an ordeal or entanglement like uh, like what happened here, right before em Emancipation Day, um, August first, this would be something that I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do, go ahead and deal with but you know I just want to go ahead and play this here first and then after that we we will co come back and then I will have some more news for you that and more stay tuned hot we have a situation with the court here just to wash here here but the cop here to take for more children here kiss and again around. and again that's discrimination if you're saying my daughter's hair is going to be stink and lacy versus an next person who has who has natural we hair that. you understand we you are avoiding that you are clean no you no we are clean. there we is are no clean. difference you are once clean. you have hair on your head you need to wash it you need to take care of your hair not everybody so that is in itself is discrimination if you're going to believe sit here and believe that my child here is more at risk of getting lice? Miss, really? Miss, 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 don't, don't tell me from experience. Do not tell me from experience. You are talking to a principal with right 18 now, years of the school. Right now, you are talking to a principal with 35 right years teaching. And I am saying this from experience. Yes, we have your had so many parents coming but to this do school. Not, do not tell me that my child has a greater risk of, because of the heat and her hair. That she gonna get less near here versus any other any other person here. Okay. That is just one. You cannot you cannot make that assumption. Yes. Well, based on experience, done. I don't care if it's a hundred years of experience, you cannot make that assumption. Mr. Robinson, that's a PTAB. Alright. And I'm not gonna stand up here any longer. Okay, right? Just one minute. No, nobody else PTA, is gonna come here and try and PTA, bombard PTA, me. PTA, PTA, come right. Here. They're gonna call around. ten people against yeah, one person right now. But you put it on the whole world. I'm gonna leave right no, now. The whole world. The whole no the whole I'm gonna leave right the now. The whole world is against us now because it's on Facebook. You and ministry deal with it. Because you're not dealing with it. And then we'll Mr. take it from there. Vice P, come here. All right, I'm gonna leave. They, they represent the PTA executive. Right, so you and, and them deal with it. I'm out of it. The child because the rules state that. All right, well, I'm gonna deal with it. And we're not. All right. And I am saying to you, Miss, I'm telling them. you now. Miss, the offer can be rescinded. There's no issue. You guys deal with it. Mr. Rob, you're gonna you're gonna take back an acceptance because of my child's here. You guys deal with it. I am out of it. Right? You're gonna call a hundred persons right here to attack me? No. I don't put none on Facebook. There are thousands out there saying that you think about this school. No. Right. So, ministry and the PTA and whosoever else want to meet and decide, do that. Jamaica Supreme Court ruled that a school may bar a seven year old because of her parents' decline to cut her dreadlocks. Now, a school official said she would be permitted to attend classes in September after all. There is no question as to the admittance of the child, said the, the Reverend Alvin Bailey, chairman of Kensington Primary School, located just outside of Kingston. 
From the outset, no decision was taken to bar the child from the school. The court's ruling on Friday sparked a national conversation on dreadlocks, Rastafarianism and identity that has connected with the global movement against racism. The judges ruled that the girls' constitutional rights were not breached in 2018 when Kensington Primary's then-principal told her parents they had to cut her hair to secure her place at the prestigious public school. While Jamaicans at home and abroad blasted the ruling, Prime Minister Andrew Holness said his government would update the re relevant law. It is time to review and amend the Education Act. He said to reflect a modern and cultural inclusive position that protects our children from being barred from any educational institution on the basis of wearing luck. No, you hear that, folks? No, I went ahead and I played both at the, the conversation that Miss Virgos had with the principal of Kensington Primary School, and I also played a news clip. In the audio of a news clip where, you know, it was a kind of a breaking down of the law. And they kind of showed that based on what was written, what is in the books, she wasn't being discriminated against. But we all know better. We all know better than that. So... I don't want to say anything any, anything else about this, but I am glad that this is being resolved and that the the outcry from the world, seeing that this poor little girl, all she wanted to do is just get her education and play and be there with her friends, and she's going to be able to get the opportunity to do that. All right. So moving on, I just want to go ahead and talk a little bit about Shansia. Since he or she got into a car accident and uh, this morning and uh, I would like to go ahead and say you know to um, Cynthia and her family and her f uh, friends that you know I hope everything's all well and from the reports you know she just have minor injuries um, she is doing all right and as, as a matter of fact her manager Romish uh, he reported and said something a little bit about what what was going on with Shazia and gave everybody and all the fans an update. He said the dancehall princess is strong and will pull through, but she is a dragon, so she will keep pushing forward and be okay. Just one of them times in life where it seems all is going wrong, but as I say. Once there's life, blessings continue. And that's something that I say all the time. You know, not quite like that, but I say as long as you as as long as you have breath, you can do something about your life. As long as you can breathe and you can move and you're alive, you can make a change. So this is just a little hurdle. This this was just a setback. She just got in a car accident. She didn't she didn't mash up the um the BMW. But you know she's okay. So that's all that's all 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 good. Everything's all right still. You know. Um. Now I would like to go ahead and talk about popcorn and popcorn's new mixtape, the fixed tape, the fixed tape that popcorn has dropped called. Yeah, change. Yo, a mixtape, wicked, 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 wicked. He had features on a mixtape with French Montana, Stylo G, Massacre, Tommy Lee, and Drake, Party Next Door, Jada Kingdom. Yes, and more and more and more. The funny track, but most of all, the the, the fixed tape were in drop. He did not disappoint. The the track have thirty two songs on there. The the mixtape have thirty two songs on there, and you start off and give a wicked intro. You know, killing them crazy. You know, uh, Fasolian, all I need, love it, good as 
Mama Tita, me have any one of them murder, yo, that murder, yo, that. Me have a little preview of that man and that. That is some wicked man, wicked. Bank on God, my way, retribution. Popcorn, kill it, man. You know say, yo, in wicked, man, in wicked, in wicked. You know, and I mean, he, he, he address anybody on there like, you know, who me I talk. You know, I didn't hear him address any, um, talking about Movado or anybody we run with Movado, right? So, that was, that was what was suspected. When you heard, when when everybody heard that the the the, the mixtape was dropped, we rushed to the mixtape because of the thing that was being being stirred up between Drake and Movado. So, sick of that, you know, say his partner, his PNC, his partner in crime, you know, you you would have know said yo in charge, you would have would have probably said something, but. I don't really hear anything on the the songs that would 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 say that he was saying anything about Movado in the songs there. But we all know there may be something coming soon, and I I don't believe that there's that this is going to die not anytime soon because I I did hear on. On Instagram, that Drake did call Popcorn, did a live stream yesterday, you know, for the independence. Popcorn, Pop Skull in, in there, and he threw a big bashment, right? And on the big bashment, he have. Me I say, Drake, give one, one, one or two line uh, talking about Movado. And if you ever heard it before, y'all gonna hear it now, folks. Drake, him say, Movado, we go all a seat and all a box juice. All a box juice. Well, that says it all. I'm not gonna say anything else about it, but we know that this is not gonna be the last thing about Drake and Movado. I know this is gonna be something big. You know, let's see what happens. But like always, I like everybody to go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what you think. You go ahead and give your shout out to Chinzi. I give her big ups and condolences. You know, um, you know, although everything's all right, she didn't get hurt or anything like that. So she's doing all right. Comment down below what you think about the news clip about the little girl who's being able to go back to school. In September, you think she, her parents should let her go back to the same school in Kensington Primary? Comment down below. Comment down below if you think that this is going to be the last thing. Or is this going to be many more drops and lines back and forth between Drake and Movado? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Tell me what you think. And like always, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye.